my boy. So sweet you are. Uh, hello, baby. How are you? <laughs> he is so adorable, Mrs. Sidarsky. Thank you, Daffodil. <laughs> Uh-oh, someone's hungry. <laughs> Who'd like to help me feed the baby? <laughs> How about if you all help me? Bye! Bye! Bye. 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 Wow, it must be really cool to have a new baby brother in your family. It has its moments. Lucy? Aren't you gonna help feed your new brother? No! Why not? What's the big deal? He's just a baby. All he does is eat and sleep and cry. I was a baby once too, you know. Me too. In fact, I was the one and only baby of the house. Until Clifford came along, that is. Did you like it when he came? Of course she did. We had a great time together, right, Daffodil? Well, to be honest, um, I really wasn't so crazy about you. Not first. Huh? You weren't? What was it like when Emily Elizabeth first brought Clifford home, Daffodil? Well, I remember the first time I heard there was going to be a new baby in the house. It was Emily Elizabeth's birthday. As usual, I was the center of attention. Oh, <laughs> <goodness>. <laughs> You're the best bunny in the whole world. I love you, Daffodil. Kids, time for cake. <laughs> I am a great bunny, aren't I? Happy birthday, Emily Elizabeth. Make a wish. Yay! Yay! You didn't wish for a puppy, did you? <gasps> a puppy? That's exactly what I wished for. Well, Mr. Bradley's dog had a litter of puppies last month. And he'd like to give you one. If you want one, that is. <gasps> oh, yes! I do, I do! Oh, thank you! <gasps> Isn't it great, Daffodil? We're getting a puppy! The two of you are gonna be best friends. I just know it! Emily Elizabeth was right, wasn't she? You are best friends. Well, I do kind of like the little guy. <laughs> now. But it took a while. At first, I couldn't understand why Emily Elizabeth would want a puppy when she already had me. <laughs> <laughs> what a sweetheart. Gucci, Gucci, goo. Oh, isn't he precious? What a good puppy. So precious. Yes, he is. Good yes, boy. he is. I love you, Clifford. Oh, thank you so much for the best birthday present ever. <gasps> Well, now, look who's here. I think Daffodil wants to spend some time with Clifford. Go on, Clifford. Go say hi to your big sister, Daffodil. Aww. Aww. He really likes you, Daffodil. <laughs> I'm sorry, Daffodil. I know we usually play together in the afternoons, but I have to take Clifford for his walk first. I think I'll come along. Me too. I could use some air. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Isn't it wonderful having Clifford here with us, Daffodil? Wonderful? I didn't think it was at all wonderful having Clifford with us. And then it got worse. One afternoon, Emily Elizabeth took us both to pet day at the library. Did you bring that wonderful little bunny of yours again this year, Emily Elizabeth? I sure did, Mr. Solomon. 
You know, Daffodil's visit last year inspired me to write my book, A Honey of a Bunny. Did you hear that, Daffodil? You're a star. Woo! <laughs> Who is this? Look oh, oh, This is Clifford, my new puppy. Oh, oh, Everyone keeps saying Clifford is so little and so cute. Hey, maybe if they see how little and cute I am, Emily Elizabeth will realize that she doesn't need Clifford around anymore. She might even return him. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, no, no! You have to treat books very carefully. They're very precious. You can't ever push them on the floor like that. This is one of my very favorite books. It's all about the different types of bridges that can be built. Oh, oh I love bridges! Cool. Wow! Mm -hmm. That's one beautiful bridge, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa! Wow, this bridge is really big. It's amazing how different all these bridges can look from one another. <laughs> look at Clifford. Daffodil! Daffodil, no, Roo, you're too big to do that. Daffodil, I'll get you out. Just calm down. You're okay now, Daffodil. I've got you. Fortunately, our book is okay, too. I'm so sorry, Mr. Solomon. I guess Daffodil just didn't realize what a big girl she is. Gosh, Daffodil, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was so awful. It wasn't awful. I just thought it was. Emily Elizabeth still paid lots of attention to me, and she told me all the time how much she loved me, but I just wasn't used to living with you yet. Well, it sure sounds like it was awful to me. The truth is, Lucy, I was just jealous of all the attention that Clifford was getting, and I didn't want to share Emily Elizabeth with anyone else. I know what you mean. So, what did you do? Well... One day, Emily Elizabeth came home and announced, Daffodil, Clifford, it's a special day today. Clifford has been with us for one whole week now, so I brought you each a present to celebrate. I'm so lucky to have both of you. Emily Elizabeth, come on, it's time to go. I'm going to the store with Mom right now, but I know you two will be just fine here alone. After all, you have each other. I don't want to play right now, Clifford. Whoa! Oh, it's just thunder. What is it, Clifford? Are you scared? <laughs> well, come here, little guy. <laughs> Don't worry. That's just thunder, Clifford. It happens a lot when it rains. Wow. That's a great story, Daffodil. And now Clifford is your best friend. He's more than my friend, Lucy. He's my brother. I mean, you just gotta love him. Oh, 
baby, shh. Hush now, hush. What's the matter with him, Mama? Nothing, really. The baby's just very cranky and I can't get him to stop crying. Don't cry, baby. I'm Lucy, your big sister, and we're gonna be best friends. He stopped just for you, Lucy. <laughs> of course he did. He's my brother, and you just gotta love him. <laughs>